Ah, oh, good afternoon, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. It is September 22nd. I'm gonna. I'm Dine. Call me Dine, and welcome to part two of Let's Play Kickle Cubicle. Last time we cleared World One, so we're going to progress normally into World Two. Fruitland. Make any jokes you wish. I'm not going to touch it. We have a grape-shaped world map this time. Yeah, and this time the puzzles are going to be a little bit harder. I expect to die a few times in this in this world. <laughs> Not fairly simple puzzle. Just put your stoppers up top here. Freeze one or both of these noggins. I'd actually recommend both. That way you can get some extra points. And just wait for these guys to pass by. And notice I do plow down through the enemies too. Uh, there's our peaches, little butts. I remember now they look like little butts, especially Sherry. Is it's so cute? <laughs> Gotta love Sophie on Tales of Grace's F. She is so funny. All right, more stoppers to work with, and looks like, yep, plenty of little bomb guys. I think they're called Sparkies. But this one's not too bad. Just try and trap one. And make your way up. Oh, and there's a bonus ring. Clicking that will change the layout of the level. Turn into a bonus round. And just walk around collecting everything you can. Most of the time you'll not be able to get everything. That is perfectly alright, but for the sake of progress, the level's already over anyway. There are just remind me of the similar items on Bubble Bobble. They just turn the stage into a bonus level to collect everything you can. Not like, nope, not quite. Melons! What big melons are there? And is this the, uh, nope. Maybe one or two more levels and we'll get the unique one that talks to us. Okay, some new enemies. These clowns will shoot... Ooh shoot balls at you. Just freeze them and take them out. Fortunately, your breath can travel through the through their shots. And their balls roll off the side, so that is a good thing. So just introducing these enemies. Not too bad. And cherries. Anyone else getting hungry? <laughs> we just started. There's not a huge breakfast, this is not going to affect me too bad. Okay, some new enemies again, these cannons. They're not that bad. But they can shoot diagonally through... through the stoppers if you're not careful, but these ones are positioned so they won't be a problem. And you can go for those popsicles if you want. Really not much of a point. That one was just for fun. Some pineapples. I think these are the ones that'll talk to us. Oh, broke two million points. Not bad at all. I was trying to... Oh, it was interesting to figure out which way is he going to go next on that map. Okay, raccoons. More noggins. Okay, so this one's fairly simple. We just have to do some... Springboarding. And lure the noggins over to the right spot. And try not to get hit by your own blocks. <laughs> but other than that, that was easy. I want to say that board looks like a snowman or some little thing with a face. Oh, got some grapes. Yummy grapes. Love grapes. No, they're not talking to us yet. I guess it's not until halfway through. Of course, the plot's already established. <laughs> okay, that hammer up there can be rotated. In fact, you want to rotate it at least one, at least twice, because we need to use it to knock a block and cross the channel here. Oh. No, I don't remember how to do this. Because I thought you just had to... Oh, I know, I know, I know. Hit it, hit it onto the head of the hammer, not against, not against the, not against the center. Uh, kill the clowns. No one likes clowns. Clowns are scary. 
And I just noticed the shape of that board was a little awkward. I'm not, I'm not gonna try and describe what exactly what it is I saw. It just looked weird. I guess those are strawberries. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to them. And that that same whale is back. Okay. So here we get to uh, use the ice to block the cannon shots. Fortunately, the enemies themselves also block them before they're frozen. So that was an easy one. Oranges. So I'm trying to figure out what voice to give to each of these fruits as they appear in case they're the ones that talk. Oh, looks like this is one. This little girl. Our palace was sucking into the ocean together with our princess! Oh, poor princess! Coco, please help her out! Well, we know where the palace is. That's the start. Okay, so this one looks like a kind of a court jester face. And more new enemies, these cannons. They fire cannonballs that explode and will destroy ice stoppers and such. Fortunately, they can be frozen and destroyed. So we're just going to cover one side at a time here. Get this bag. Okay. So we'll get him out of the way. Sometimes it's better just to freeze him and let him um, let him thaw out. Because that way they won't get in the way too much. Okay. A little extra space here. Can't hurt. Come here, Noggin. See, the, na the name Noggin just kind of tickles the back of my mind since that's the name of the of the Q's the guy who's the Q spoof of uh, Spy Hard. Oh, more peaches, more little butts. I miss Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> Such a funny guy. Of course, Spy Hard wasn't the best movie, but it's still funny. Okay, this one got to have to send it one way and then stop it. There you go. So that's all there is to this. Of course, getting getting up top there with the Sparky won't be as easy. But then again, all I have to do is wait for him to explode <laughs> and then just run up and get it. So the hard part was just making sure you set up the stoppers at the right point. More melons. Watermelons. Love watermelons. I'm definitely getting hungry now. <laughs> so how many more levels? Oh, eight more levels. Looks like we're halfway done. Don't forget not to have died so far. I thought I'd, I thought I'd be doing a lot worse. But, then again, this world's not too bad either. It's the next two that really get hard. And of course, I am going to be doing the post-game, which has the professional levels, as they'd be called in the Lolo game. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> get away. And you can, you can use the hammer to knock out enemies if they, get, if they're, if they happen to get in the way. I probably should have demonstrated that, but that, that guy scared me. <laughs> so it looks like we're traveling around the outer perimeter of the grapes and spiraling in. Okay, so there are those pink hat guys again. And... Looks like we get a... Freeze the noggin and push the block all the way around the course. So, just gotta move quickly. Keep the block frozen, otherwise he'll fly out, and that's the wrong way. So, let's push it up. Okay, yeah. And I've been paying attention, I was setting it up the first time. <laughs> yeah, this one's not bad, just stay on your toes to keep the pink hat guys from getting you. Now, I'm hoping to do a Fortune Street game tonight. I'll, get, I'll rally people together on Twitter and try and get that going later on tonight, because that'll be fun. It'll be, d definitely be longer than this video. Okay, so i got to set up the hammers for a chain reaction here. Things like this are just so much cool, so cool and so fun, even though they're just simple puzzles. But watching them happen is still nice. There's one. And I <laughs> did not set that up right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I want that one that way. And this one this way. Okay, trying that again. Okay, wait for Sparky to explode here. 
And all set. So, oh, bananas. They're new. Yep. Spiraling inside. Okay. That one-up's gonna be easier to get than the... One of the dream bags here. Might as well get it just to be safe. Okay. I'm gonna try and get them, get most of them close to the same time. But these guys really aren't gonna be too much of a problem as long as I stay away from the perimeter. Okay, so three more. And there goes those. Fortunately, the ones at the bottom aren't gonna be a problem. There you have it. Mmm, strawberries. Yep, that takes three million points. I don't know, this game is just... I remember being a lot harder, of course. I was just a kid. Okay, this looks intimidating. Okay. So, looks like just the same procedure as before. Stop this guy from blowing up the arena. I said stop blowing up the arena. Fortunately, you can only shoot one cannon at a time. Oh, I missed the pop signal. <laughs> that was just dumb. <laughs> I was making my way towards it, I moved down too quickly, and then picked up the dream bag before I could correct myself. Okay! So we got some more... Er, some more spring manipulation to deal with. Go ahead and trap him in there, so he stays out of our way. Okay, this this one won't be too bad. Just have to hit this to the right and move the hammer out of the way. And of course, get out of the way of the hammer; it will kill you too. And how do you get how do you get past that? I guess he can you take it down. I guess it just wore off. Oh well. Or maybe they can take it down on their own. Okay, what do we got? Oh, snap. So this is just like that, that, that first... that level in the first world, only you have a lot less space to work with. So get as close as you dare. And just trap him in. It's all more more intimidating than challenging. In fact, I'm just gonna run for this one. <laughs> it's all about dumb world two, no deaths yet. That is just surprising. I thought this was gonna be a lot longer, a lot harder. Already already on the final level before the boss. Might die might die at the boss. Okay, here's not a whole lot to work with. And as for getting over there, these are said than done. Oh man, I need to see if he moves. Okay, there we go. Bingo. Almost there. I'll put this down just to get them out of the way. Okay. Oh. Come back here! Stupid things. 
Not they're, they're the mindless Goombas of the game, so what do you expect? <laughs> okay, so I got some apples! And all set to take on the boss! Thank you, Kiko! Now the sunken palace is reappearing! Is the princess still safe and sound? Please, Kiko, beat the hateful monster! Yeah, 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 I gotta do everything. You guys just get trapped in bags for me to rescue. Oh, it's a heart. But this is Fruitland, not Heartland. Oh, what's going on? We got a portal. Oh, parting the whole ocean! There's the palace. Looks good enough to eat. So, were those apple people just hanging, ar hanging out on the side there? Too complex to think about. Uh, anyway, boss time. Let's see if I can continue my deathless streak. Oh, clown. Another clown. Peter Oak. <laughs> Good job to come here! But you have to give up now! <laughs> so, not too different than the first guy. He'll charge after, he, after you hit him. And the balls will bounce rather than... I like that range. Chuckles. Oh, that was close. Okay, got him. So that was what, five hits? I wasn't counting. <laughs> anyway, that was Fruitland. No deaths yet. That is awesome. Oh, she was dressed for swimming. Princess Lutea. The palace is recovered! You're a great kickle! You must still get back two palaces! Yeah, we're halfway done with the main game. No, I don't want you uh, alone to fight the horrible monster! We have no one but you to rely on! Please save them all! Don't rely upon. Okay. So, in the next video, we will cover Cake Land. Man, this game's making me hungry. I got a giant fork for the map. But I'm gonna, I'm dying, call me dying. Hopefully, I'll be doing another video tonight. This one ended up being a lot shorter than usual. Well, not than usual than expected. So, I'll see you guys hopefully tonight for some Fortune Street. If I'm not, I'm, uh, if I'm unable to do that, I will be streaming Mystic Quest Remastered tomorrow, and that one's going to be long. I've got about uh, four battlefields to clear. Yep, three bosses and then one full one. So, I'm going to die, call me die, and I'll see you guys for the next video. I'm signing off now. <laughs> Ciao.